Here is an introduction to using a CAD system. This particular one is SolidWorks. I'm going to create a new component. Here it shows that I want a 3D representation of a single component. Now whatever you have in, in mind to do, most CAD systems require that you decide which plane to create the part on. T front plane, top plane, right plane. There's no hard and fast rule about that, but really you should just visualize what you want to create and use the plane that would describe what you're looking at. So this case I'm going to open a sketch on the front plane because I'm going to make a drawer front <coughs> for a, a, a chest of drawers. So I need to define these lines in space uh, back to the origin of the component and I do that by adding a relation to the origin and now the CAD system knows where this part is in space and where the origin is. Obviously I got to know how large I want the thing to be. This can always be altered later which is one of the beauties of using CAD is that you can keep on going and making as many changes as you desire till you decide. So here I have a draw front and most CAD systems will have some a feature like this where you're now going to define how thick the part is going to be. In this case I'm going to use mid plane. This is useful for uh, other uh, reasons later. And I'm going to make it an inch wide. I can now specify the material just so I get an appearance that uh, gives, me, gives everyone the idea what, I'm, what I wish to make here. I'm going to choose maple as the material and close that and here we have a simple rectangular panel. Now suppose I was thinking well I need a groove for the base of the drawer and I thought well let's show you an alternative way of doing it. This time I'm going to go and create a sketch on the right plane. I know from the right view it's going to be something like this. Again I need to define where that sketch is relative to the origin. Most CAD systems work with similar concepts and systems. Add a relation to the origin. Here midpoint and I know that this is 120 and I know that this is 25.4 now at this point I could extrude the part to be 320 millimeters and I would have created two parts that are exactly the same However, I did say that what we wanted to do was put a notch in here to accept the the base of the drawer. And obviously I have to define where this is. You'll notice that undefined uh, lines in SolidWorks remain in royal blue color to remind one that you haven't defined this sufficiently. Now the depth of the slot 
should be more than that I believe looking at the part it can certainly accept that and now the width of this well let's say I, I'm going to use 10 millimeter hardboard so I would make that slot about 10.5 as a piece of carpentry now I have a uh, good shape here but this line here is interfering with it so um, going to have to undo that I believe it's taken away the uh, the wrong line right now I have it now when I use extrude the slot is going to be in there already I'm going to select mid plane again and we know that we wanted this to be 320 millimeters long and we also know that we wanted it to be in a wood maple in this case apply the material close it now you can see that we have our slot here it goes all the way through the part turn to the right hand side you can see so there's a comparison of two different methods obviously if you think about all of the features of the part at the beginning it becomes much easier to know which plane you would use to design a part in but it's not uh, that important but obviously you need to start somewhere and this is how I usually would recommend you do it what view have you got in your mind use the plane if you think of it from the right hand side use the right plane if you're looking down on it use the top plane if you're looking at the, f at the front of it use the front plane it really is that simple to start with a CAD <laughs>